Okay, so we're going to talk about some funny shit today, but first we need to do some real talk. Today we need to talk about bullies. I know everyone's had one. Everyone's had kids tease them in school or even outside of school, even in work. Maybe your parents tease you. There's all sorts of bullies in the world. I've been bullied my whole life, ever since school. I thought getting out of school would be better and I get bullied at work. I'm not going to say what job. Today I worked all three jobs, so good luck figuring out. <laughs> but yeah, I get bullied a lot at work. And I got bullied a lot in school growing up. And I've gotten bullied to the point where I would cut myself, I would try and kill myself. I mean, these people just made me feel so worthless. And I know we've all been there. I want to say hang in there. A lot of people love you. A lot of people care for you. If you need, tell that bully to shut the fuck up. Just straight up look him in the eye. Be like, yo. Don't bully me. And yeah, it might end badly, but you know, it's all you can do. Or you know, you can tell an adult. I know that sounds super stupid. You might even get bullied by an adult. Sometimes things like telling an adult don't help, though. I've been there. I mean, I've told the police about a bully before, and the police were against me. So, I know not always telling an adult helps. But, you know, find a friend to talk to about it. Find an adult to talk to about it. I don't know who you want to find. Find someone, talk to them, ask them what they think of the situation. You know, just talk. Like, get it out of your system. And God, don't kill yourself over someone. Don't do that. So many people love you. So many people care for you. Don't let someone make you kill yourself or cut yourself or hurt yourself. Don't let people do that to you. That's my real talk for the day. Now for the funnies, another thing that happened at work was we have these big glass windows in front of um, my pizza job. It's like, you know, like in front of the shop, like, you know, it's like the, like the whole front of the shop is like one big glass wall. And one of my employees was like, hey, look, a mouse. And it was outside. But, like, for some reason, it didn't go to my brain. Like, my brain didn't think, oh, the mouse is outside. I was just convinced that it was inside. So I saw the mouse outside through the window. And I screamed and ran away because I thought it was inside. So everyone burst out laughing because I just screamed and ran away from a mouse that was outside. <laughs> but for some reason, my brain didn't think it was outside. Oops. <laughs> Another funny thing of the day was at one of my jobs, uh, people kept scaring me just to make fun of me and like react and try and react the same way that I did. Because I react really dumb when I'm scared. <laughs> and they would scare me and then try and do what I was doing like when I was scared. And <laughs> pretty funny. It went something like this. I'd be scared and I'd be like, ah! And they would be like, Oh, it like back at me and it was the most hilarious thing ever. <laughs> and real talk. This is kind of funny real talk. You know those like commercials that are like, you can wear anything and pour bleach. Look at her in that designer dress. Okay, when I fucking pour bleach, it's like all over me. Like on my face, in my eyeballs, like in my hair, like all over me. Like, and, and it's like, I, I don't even pour it that high. Like it's... You can't wear anything and pour bleach. Like, bullshit. It goes all over the place. Like, you should see my work shirt. There's, like, all these spots all over it from the bleach. It's like, no. <laughs> you can't wear anything and pour bleach. Fuck that. <laughs> Don't know what the fuck they're thinking. I'm gonna pour bleach in a designer dress. Like, who even does that? Like, who does laundry? Or any cleaning in a designer dress? Like, I'm wearing, like, an old work shirt when I'm cleaning or doing laundry, you know? Maybe not even a shirt at all. Maybe I'm, like, out of clothes. I'm like, oh, I gotta put all this stuff in the laundry before I get to work. <laughs> like, who the heck wears a dress to do laundry? Like, really? Well, that's pretty much all my funny stories for the day. I'm gonna only do so many dumb things in one day. Oh, I have one more. I forgot. <laughs> I was getting a sandwich from Gondola Joe's, I think it's called. It was up on the mountain, and I was just getting lunch. My manager bought me lunch. Thank you, Johnny. That was very sweet. <laughs> it's at Gondola Joe's. And they asked for, like, two fives back from the girl, or, like, a ten, because I had to, like, give someone money. Like, you know, so when I gave her the cash, I was like, hey, can I have a ten back? And she's like, I don't have any tens. 
I'm like, then can you give me two fives? And she's like, oh yeah. <laughs> and then when I was grabbing my shit, I was kind of like in a rush because I was trying to rush back to work. And she was like, you know, you can learn to say, you're, she was like, you should learn to say thank you. I looked her dead straight in the face, smiled at her and was like, no, thank you. I'm good. And walked away. <laughs> and she was like furious. Oh my God. It was so funny. Like she was screaming at me when I was walking out the door and all these other customers were like, what is going on? All this dumb stuff. <laughs> but like, I normally I'm like, say thank you to everyone. I say thank you to the bus driver when I get off the bus. Like. I mean, I try and say thank you to everyone. I just was in a rush, and she was kind of being a bitch about the money. So I was kind of like, eh, whatever, you know, just kind of forgot it, kind of didn't think. <laughs> like, you don't go up to someone and you're like, you should learn to say thank you. Like, can you imagine? Like, can you imagine if I went around saying that to people? Like, you know, like, after every single boot I put on a person, been like, you should say thank you. No, that, like, I, <laughs> I would not do that. <laughs> I don't know what job was up with her, but I would not do that. Like, that would be horrible. I can't even imagine. <laughs> like, a lot of people do say thank you, you know, when I put their boots on them. But I'm like, what are you thanking me for? All I did was put one boot on you. <laughs> like, oh, thank you so much for putting the ski boot on me. It only took you 30 seconds. <laughs> Like, what are you thanking me for? I work here. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I'm just... I'm so happy that people are polite enough to say thank you, but I just don't understand why. <laughs> like, why are you saying thank you? I took 30 seconds of your time to put on the ski boot. Like, I don't thank me. Thank the people who have to crank your bindings for, like, a good solid eight minutes. Thank them. Give them tips. You know, like, you know, maybe if I'm, like, putting up your skis and cutting up my arms and my fingers and everything else, like, yeah, then thank me. But, like, ski boots? Like, not that hard. <laughs> but, yes, I am grateful. Stories of my day. Thanks for watching the deep part of YouTube. Love y'all.